Pokemon dropped a brand new trailer for Scarlet and Violet, and we're going to break it all down for you right now. For the most part, it was just a big old recap of everything that we already know, but there was a handful of very, very important things that they told us, as well as a lot of hidden things that they didn't tell us that they may or may not have meant to show us. So let's dive right in. The first thing that stands out is how you interact with wild Terra Pokemon. As you can see here, you're just walking along and you'll actually see shining wild Terra Pokemon over in the corner. And as you approach them, they are in their terrestrialized form and you can battle them. And as you see, as you battle them and you weaken them, their terrestrial form breaks and then you can catch them. It's a little unclear if you can catch them before it breaks or if you have to break it to catch them. Um, also, I'm thinking that this is the only way that you can get Pokemon in their terrestrial forms or with their ter terror types. It's kind of unclear if you just catch a wild Pokemon and it has a terror type or if you have to catch them in this terrestrialized form to get the terror type, which that's the way I'm thinking it's going to work. But, you know, I guess we'll find out that that was not explained very well by them or me. But uh, that's what we know. <laughs> now, the big hitter, a brand new Pokemon was announced. As you see here, a giraffe rig is being traded over. And now it is battling, and now it is changing. Whoa, look at that. We have a brand new evolution for Rigoraf. I believe I pronounced that correctly. I looked it up several times beforehand. Fa Rigoraf. I, I don't know. It looks pretty cool. It has a couple new abilities here. Cud Chew, which lets it eat berries twice. And also, Armor Tail which stops priority moves. So that could be super handy and competitive, possibly. We'll see. But you know, it looks pretty cool. You see the head that was on its tail as giraffe rig has now become kind of like a helmet on it. So I don't know, it's a unique, fun looking design. I think it's pretty cool. What you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Next up, we have what is being called the TM machine, which hilariously enough means technical machine machine, like an ATM machine. Yeah, it's, I'm just, this is so stupid, the name. The name the name is redundant, but it doesn't matter. But the functionality is cool. So basically, we're getting crafting back, kind of like we did in Legends Arceus. But you need what are called League Points, and you need items that you get from Wild Pokemon. And based on the website, as you can see here right in front of us, that you can get League Points from continuing the story as well as trading in materials from Pokemon. So there's multiple, it looks like if you get an excess of material, you can trade them in for league points if you haven't advanced the story far enough yet. But you know, as you, it assumes as you continue the gym story, you get league points. So that, that seems to be what makes the most sense there. But it's pretty cool. You can craft all these TMs that you need. Next up, we have Picnics. Picnics are the mechanic that's gonna replace uh, Pokemon Camp from Sword and Shield. Pretty similar concept. You can interact with your Pokemon, which will heal them as well as give them experience. And in this case, we'll actually give them special bonuses. So you can get um, bonuses such as, you know, they'll increase power for certain move types as well as catching power and different things. So lots of different little bonuses that you get just by, you know, interacting with them and as well as cooking so instead of curry this time we're gonna be making sandwiches which i think is hilarious and awesome i love sandwiches and watching this trailer made me hungry and also another thing that we got from picnics that's not fully explained but this is the first time that we're seeing pokemon eggs in scarlet and violet as you're at your picnic you can apparently randomly find eggs in your pokemon basket is this the new breeding mechanic we don't fully know yet, but where did that egg come from? What were they doing at this picnic? Like, did you get random eggs? Is it one of the random Pokemon in your party? Like, I, I want to know more, but I also don't want to know more yet. It, it's very intriguing, but this is the first time that we're seeing eggs. As you see, there's no daycare that's been mentioned. You just get random eggs in your picnic basket while you're out adventuring with your Pokemon that are apparently doing things. I don't want to know. To Moving on. Now to the really juicy stuff. The first thing that we see here, and from what we know about the Japanese trailer, they didn't see this. Only the English trailers did. 
But on this little mini map here, we'll zoom in on it. You can see that there are a bunch of Pokemon in the mini map and you may recognize the blue and yellowish one as Rookity. So clearly we know the rest of those are also Pokemon. Um, so you have, first up, we have the two little white mice looking Pokemon. It, it looks like, as you can see, their tails are a little bit different. So it's either like gender variations or it's one kind of conjoined Pokemon where they're like a duo and they go together. We don't know anything about them. Um, there's been some speculation that if it's following the line of like Fido and some of these other food Pokemon, so it would be a huge food theme in Scarlet and Violet that maybe these could be like uh, marshmallow mice and they're also fairy type. So that would be pretty cool. Um, but that's not a whole lot yet, but hey, little mice Pokemon. Uh, you know, more Pikachu clones. Yay. <laughs> uh, never mind. We're, we're not going to dive into that. But then you also have a green Toucan Sam. Um, little parrot looking dude. Is that like a hat or something on his head? Or is that part of his hair? Maybe it's more hair. Because, you know, they, got, they love to put things on Pokemon's heads in this game. So that's probably what that is. And then also you have what appears to be... It's either a building or like a rock salt looking Pokemon. Um... Like I said, we this is kind of just shown casually. Like, they didn't mention it at all in the trailer. It was just shown on the screen for a few seconds, and we're all stuck here looking at it. So, speculate what you want. Let me know in the comments what you guys think that is. Um, is it the, the first Mario Kart car, <laughs> or is that an actual Pokemon? I mean, those look like kind of eyes down there at the bottom. So, I mean, it, it, I, I have no idea. But, yeah. Moving on. Yet... Even more hidden Pokemon. And this one was very hidden. But as you see here, in one of the scenes where they're looking at the camera, if you look behind all of the overlay on the screen, you can kind of faintly see there's something in the background that resembles a Pokemon. Is it kind of like a bug Pokemon? Or it doesn't look like anything we've ever seen before. But that's definitely a Pokemon there in the background. Any guesses as to what it is? Let me know in the comments because I don't have a clue either. I'm just reporting. But another hidden, but not so hidden Pokemon. When you go to battle Team Star, as you're sending out all the Pokemon to auto battle, if you look down over there in the distance, we'll zoom in on it and you see the Torkoal that you're battling. There is what appears to be a pre-evolution to Armor Rouge or Cerule Edge. Um, kind of looks, I mean, it's reddish, so I don't know if it's, they both have the same pre-evolution or what, or if it's just not fully rendered in, it's kind of hard to say, but I mean, to me, that looks like a baby armor rouge. So, hey, another hidden Pokemon, of course. Lots of things we got seen in this trailer that, you know, they didn't even talk about. So a little, little concerning there. What, what is that? And then another cool feature, if you actually look at the profile page, um, they have a good screenshot over on the main website. You have all your adventure records. You can see badges collected, the Pokedex, and there's a really cool one, Shiny Pokemon Battled. They're actually, you know, mentioning and tracking Shiny Pokemon in the game. I just thought that was amazing. I mean, you guys know how much I love Shiny Pokemon. A lot of what we do here on the channel is Shiny related. So Shiny Pokemon Battled, that's a pretty cool concept. And then last, but certainly not least, is this picture right here of Maridon. If you can't clearly tell, it's like neck and head are clearly a different color in this picture. Is that due to lighting? Is it just because it's dark out? Is this shiny? Like, what is this? Um, I'll show here. Here's a picture of it side by side with what we normally know it looks like. I don't know. You guys tell me what you think. Is that shiny or what the heck am I, are we even looking at here? I mean, that, that would be pretty cool to get a shiny legendary. Oh, imagine. So imagine you're starting off your journey and you get your legendary for the game that it's going to go with you, but you can get it shiny. So you just spend hours upon hours resetting to get your shiny bike. <laughs> oh man, I can only imagine this. This would be crazy. I hope it is shiny, but it's probably not. It's probably just low lighting. So I don't know, but that's everything that is mostly important from today's Pokemon trailer. If I missed anything, let me know down in the comments below. Let me know how many Farigarafs you're going to be adding to your team in Scarlet and Violet. But until next time, keep training and never grow up.